Hello, welcome to 2IT and RotoWire. Ben is out again, so I am stepping in. Dan Keston for TYT. This is Chris Liss, managing editor of RotoWire. Let's go over our picks from last week, and then we'll tell you who we think we should pick this week. Chris, how'd you do last week? So I know I lost with Carolina. I know I won with the Giants because I switched the Jets to the Giants. Thank God, the piece of shit Jets. I didn't, I didn't waste a pick on them. So I won with the Giants, and I won with the Redskins, uh, who just throttled the Saints. I was wrong about uh, the Ravens, who I really liked, and I was also wrong, as I said, about the Panthers. So two and two. The Ravens. I don't know what to say about the Ravens. I, you know, I just really you, thought it's time when they're home and they're off the bye that they're going to get back to who they are. And their defense did. In fact, I mean, they should have won the game, obviously. It was total garbage, but they wouldn't have covered even if they won. But I, what, what can you really say? Like, if you, if you can't win that game at home against the Jaguars, right. it's time to go. Well, they did technically win the game. The game was won, I but know. there was a face mask. The weird Doomerville call and that whatever. That was terrible. I mean, it was a face mask. It was a legitimate call, but it was just a total ridiculous way to lose. But... They were still not covering, so I can't really argue about it. Yeah, yeah. no, totally. Well, let's see. How did Ben do? Cool. Ben's 2-2 two and two also. So he had the other side of the Panthers-Titans game. He was with you on the Ravens. He had a nice pick on the Steelers, which, of course. He got lucky, but he did honestly say, and he got lucky because Landry Jones got hurt, but he said, on the off chance that Roethlisberger starts, this is like a lock. Yeah. And he was wrong. You know, obviously, there was no chance that he started, but he got in the game through luck. Right. We talked about this on Turks and Jerks. I mean, it was a yeah. horrible decision of right. them not to have any backup quarterback active. Like, Vic was inactive right. for that game when they knew Roethlisberger basically tore his foot off last week. Right. But, of course, it worked out for him. Landry Jones played, like, two series, and right. then Roethlisberger came in and threw 400 yards. Yeah, it really pisses me off because <laughs> I had the Browns plus four and a half in my other pool, and so who knows what would happen. Yeah, exactly. And then the last one, Ben lost. He had the uh, Cowboys. Yeah, so horrible the pick. Disgraceful. I mean, he, he, you know, again, one play away, one bad call or – whatever call, away yeah. from the ball, away from yeah. winning But there was bet, so, so much junk, like, where guys, he, they kept tipping Winston's passes to a Cowboy defender. It was, like, so unlucky. Yeah. Just watching that game was, like, a, oh, it was it was a punishment. Terrible. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on to this week. Let's let's see who you got. All right, I just made my final picks for this. I have no going back, so I'm going to live with these. I'm not taking Dallas. I just think with Romo, uh, this is a totally different team, and Des Bryant's healthy. Full-strength Cowboys were 12-4 and four last year. I don't think the team is that different, and... You know, the Dolphins, who knows what they bring, but they certainly don't have any sort of significant home field advantage. Yeah. And I just think they should be. It's a pick em. The Cowboys are clearly better, and this is basically a neutral field. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, we were talking before. I, the Miami's just officially reached onto my do not bet list. Because yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what to expect from that team any given week. I think they're showing that they were the team they were before Campbell took yeah. over. <laughs> you are who we thought you were? Yeah. And okay. they beat Philly, which was just total charade. It was a total mirage. Yeah. That's what I mean to say. Because they were down 16-6. to six. They get they, Philly misses the chip shot. Then they block a punt. Then Jarvis Landry gets some crazy tip pass. Then the Eagles drive down to the goal line, and Sanchez just throws an interception. So Eagles should have won that game. So I'm fading Miami, taking Dallas. The next uh, pick that I really like is uh, Philly. Uh, again, I think that was kind of unlucky that they lost last week. Tampa is still garbage. I mean, they may be not the, the, you know, among the two or three worst teams in the league, but they're certainly in the bottom third. And Philly at home should be at least seven-point favorites. Five and a half, no problem laying that wood. Um, and then I like Seattle. Seattle went into, uh, as, as terrible as they were last week against a really good team, Arizona, uh, they went into San Francisco a few weeks ago and absolutely destroyed them. The difference now is that Gabbert's the quarterback instead of Kaepernick. I don't think that's a significant <laughs> upgrade. I don't know what that is. It's just a different thing. <laughs> yeah. It's different it's a different bad, bad quarterback. Different type of bad. Um, and I just think, you know, 12 and a half is a lot, but, this, you know, Seattle blows people out at home. I, I have no problem with that. And then finally, New England, I'm a little personally insulted. I know a lot of Bills fans, and why are the Bills only seven-point underdogs? The Giants were seven-point underdogs at, in the Giants' building. This is in New England where they're, like, unbeatable, and it's just no respect for the Giants. Uh, and the Bills getting too much respect. They shouldn't have beat the Jets. Well, you and I both know the Jets are a piece of shit, right? You agree with that? They are very stinky. I'll, t I'll agree to the stinky. <laughs> okay. You're, you're, you're uh, a Jets fan. <laughs> Trying so. to be a Jets fan yeah, right, right now. Right. But you know that Buffalo got lucky. There were four turnovers in that game, including a kickoff where not only did he turn it over, yeah. he turned it over for a touchdown on the kickoff. And, and of course, God forbid the Jets score from the, th the five-yard line yeah, at right. the end of the game, right? They yeah. still could have won and covered. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, you know, the Bills are just, they should not, you know, Rex is jumping around like an idiot. But, like, you know, they just got lucky. And now they're going to New England, which is the right. toughest place to play in the, in the NFL. I'm taking the Patriots. And Rex is going to say something stupid and fire them up. And, yeah. you know, then they're going to be all, you yes. know, whatever. right. We were talking on Monday. How great is it to be a Patriot fan? I, like, I don't know. Like, but it to watch be. that game and to be down right. and know you're going to win. Like somehow you're going to win. 
It, it is good in that sense, but I will say as a Giants fan, it was probably not so great when they were 18-0 and they lost right. yeah, on the David Tyree That's a good point. Hey. The second time around, that's a great we point. beat him again and established once point. and for all that Tom Brady is Eli Manning's bitch. Okay. Wow, I Go like ahead. it. Go. Strong. <laughs> as, as Chris and I were talking yeah. before, this is my, uh, you know, First time on camera picking these games, and even though I've done pretty well over the last year and a half, I'm sure I'll go 0 4 today. Yeah. No, I, 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 I predict 2 and 2 for you. 2 and 2, nice. Yeah. Ah, I'll give you a solid 2 and 2. All right, so my, my favorite pick of the week is the Oakland Raiders minus 2. Uh, you know, two weeks ago we were talking about the Oakland Raiders making the playoffs, and uh, all of a sudden they, they can't beat the Lions. You know, I know the Lions won last week, and I know they beat Green Bay, but Green Bay looked really bad. Yeah. And the Lions were trying not to win. Yeah. They were trying really, really hard. Really hard, really hard. Tim Caldwell to give just it away. gave it his all. You know? <laughs> There's nothing else he could have done. There's no quit in him. You yeah, know? I also think that's like that, that's basically was their Super Bowl going into Lambeau, beating yeah. the Packers. You know they haven't done that in years. Right. I, you know, I think the Raiders are just a better team. Yeah, I, I agree with that pick. I, I was close to making them on my four. Yeah. When I heard you did it, I wanted to let you have let, it. let me have it. Thank yeah. you, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, my second pick is the Jacksonville Jaguars at home. I give them three to the Titans. And as we also said before, I'm already upset at myself for picking bad teams. Right. But the Jaguars are three and six. They're only one game out of first place. Yeah. And like, if they have any fire in them whatsoever, they're going to make a run for the division and you can't lose this game. Well, first off, they have a legit shot at the division because yeah. luck is maybe out for the year. That's correct. And the Titans suck and the Texans are mediocre. So yeah. it's not really that far-fetched that they win the division. And I agree with you. They're better than Tennessee. Yeah, I they agree. They play teams. I agree. That even when they lose... They've just played teams, like when they lost to the Jets, like they played them tough. Like they play teams tough and lose sometimes. I agree. I, I think they're better. And their, their last three games have been good. Yeah. And like I think their offense is, is pretty solid. Right. And Tennessee's pretty banged up on defense. They've lost a couple guys this week who are key members of their defense. So I like the Jags. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm with that. My third pick is the Kansas City Chiefs giving up three on the road to San Diego. I'm done with San Diego. I'm tired of them. Mm -hmm. Um, even if I lose this game, I hate them. Right. And they've burned me 17 times this year, even though there's only been, you know, nine right. or ten games. Yeah. And I, I'm just sick of it. And that, you know, like I, but why even mess with them? Why even get involved with that team? I Because I, I, I like Kansas City. Right. I, I mean, forget last week because that's, again, that's a little bit of right. an abomination right. because Peyton couldn't throw the ball 10 feet. Right. But they've gotten consistently better. They're one and five start. They lost to pretty much the best teams in the league. Right. Um, and uh, they just seem to be improving on a day-to-day -day basis, and they have that defensive front, which is really tough um, against the pass, and you really need to have time to, to kind of pick them apart, and I just, I don't, I don't think San Diego's good enough. San Diego has, like, no offensive line. All yeah. those guys are hurt. Yep. A lot of their defense is hurt. You know, they have no wide receivers. I don't know. I like Kansas City, even giving three on the road. Yeah, I'm probably going to, I'm on the fence on that. I was going to take San Diego because... But it's, it is a neutral field in that stadium. Yeah. They, yeah, they when the care. Raiders played there, it was like they, they had to like have a silent snap count, the, right. the Chargers, because they couldn't hear uh, with the opposing team's crowd cheer yelling. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going to be like a Steeler game where the Steeler fans come all the way out to San yeah. Diego to watch that game. I mean, there's not like tons of Chiefs fans necessarily right. in San Diego. But or still, it, it's still, <laughs> but it's, still it's neutral. Yeah, yeah. okay, I, I'm, I'm okay. with that. So then my last pick, I was deciding between two games. I was a little torn. Initially, I was going to take Arizona at home against the Bengals. Traveling west, short week, seems like a really good place. I, I also didn't like the way the Bengals looked the other night. They looked timid. Um, they were making bad play calls. They didn't throw it to A.J. Green for the majority of the game, which I still don't understand. Yeah. Um, so when we talked about this yesterday, it was three. Now it's up to five. Right. And it's making me a little nervous. Although we did see this this morning, which makes me want to pick them. All right, it's getting crowded in here. Everyone out. Everyone out. Come on. Not you, Scotty. Not you, number two. Not you, Frau. In case you didn't get that, that's Andy Dalton getting kicked out of the Unbeatens Club. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brady should have been kicked out. Yeah. But, but for very fortuitous turn of events. Well, you know? Andy's Brady, again, yeah. and he found a way to win. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so instead... Um, my last he found pick. a way to make Landon Collins drop a perfect interception right into his chest. Yes, exactly. Um, but so then my, my last pick is I'm taking Washington on the road plus seven at Carolina. I, I mean, of all the games, I don't I feel the worst about this because I've been wrong on Carolina pretty much the entire year. But the the DC Grudens or the team formerly known as Washington Redskins or whatever mm. you want to call them, they're a decent team. I mean, I, they have a chance to win that division. Yeah. And so basically, you're get that's a lot of points to give to a potential division-winning team um, on the road. And even though Carolina looks strong on offense, they look strong on defense, they don't blow teams out in a traditional way. 
So I feel like Washington can keep that close even if they're going to have a tough time winning. Yeah, and I've been wrong about this a bunch, but I like going against undefeated teams because I think teams get up for them. Yeah. It's like there's a lot of pressure. They tighten up a little bit sometimes. Yeah. I, I think Washington will be up for this. I really hope they don't win the division because I'm a Giants fan. Uh, and I will say uh, I don't think they're going to get there. But, yeah, they are, they are in contention. Right? Yeah. They're a game out. So. For sure. Yeah, they could. All right, cool. So let's recap them. Chris, you go first. Uh, my picks are Dallas, uh, pick them uh, in Miami. I've got Philly at home laying five and a half against Tampa. I have Seattle at home laying uh, 12 and a half against San Francisco. And I have New England at home. Wow, I've got all favorites and three favorites and a pick them a week after 12 out of 14 underdogs covered. Uh, I've got New England minus seven at home against the Bills. And I have Oakland minus two at Detroit, Jacksonville at home giving three, Washington getting seven at Carolina. And Kansas City, minus three at San Diego on Sunday afternoon. This is TYT Sports and Rotowire. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>